Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how to build a very simple CLI to help us track the COVID-19 or coronavirus outbreak. So let's see what we're building. So if I go back to my terminal and go with COVID CLI. So that is the name of the CLI we're building, COVID CLI. That does help be able to see the various things we can do with this wonderful CLI. Perfect, so this is the basic, basic stuff basic commands you can get info by latest previous status you can also get information by searching for the country and can also show cases right so let's try an example so if i come back here i go with the get latest going to list the various information for me right the, the total data of the outbreak for this current time right that is the latest option so it's going to fetch latest information so this is the number of confirmed cases worldwide the number of recovered cases the number of dead cases can also do the same thing for previous studies in case i want to get two days from now right to so previous you're going to go and fetch for me the previous data set right very interesting so this is the previous data set and since it's not that different that's why the, the, the details are almost the same right but with time you see the difference very interesting now let's try another step you can also check for fetch the data set in case you want to use that particular data set to do your activity and just go with the get data set you want to fetch that particular data set for you so so that you can use it for your work so it's supposed to be date set not data set it's supposed to be date data set right very interesting so data set that's going to fetch it perfectly for us so get latest get previous get data set very interesting so this is the latest data set and you can see from the dates here and this is the file name right very interesting now that is some basic stuff you can also do for the status in case you also want to search for a status just go with help I'm going to show you how to use the get status option which you can specify a particular country right and get the status of that particular country so let's go with ghana Good Ghana is going to give me the details of the confirmed cases, the recovered, and the death as a whole. Perfect. So, this is the number of cases there 40 confirmed cases, recovered zero, death zero. And also, try for another country like let's say Italy. So, going to search for us and give us the details for Italy, right? Or any other country that you want. And this is one of the features you can do with it. Perfect. So, these are the number of cases. Wow, that is too high. Okay, so let's try another stuff. You can also come back and then you can also search right so i can search for let's say germany right so i can search for a particular country the number of cases i want so if i go with cases and i can just go with let's say confirmed right, that is another way of doing it so i'm searching germany for all confirmed cases i'm going to list it perfectly for us in a very nice format so this is the number of total confirmed cases in germany right i can also go without it without any option that is also going to print the entire stuff for us so in case you make a mistake it's going to give you the option that you, of how to do it so this entire data set for both confirmed recovered and then dead so in case you want to search for a country you can just go and search a particular country very nice that is something that's cool that you can do now let's check the last thing i can also show something so in case i want to show only confirmed cases only recovered only deaths i can also do that Using the show option so we have search show and then get so that any format you go you can still get information so if i go with show confirmed i'm going to show confirmed cases worldwide of the entire data set right so this is the number of confirmed cases in the whole world right and these are the entire data set very interesting i can also do the same thing for the rest which is let's say because i want to get for recovered going to work and give me only recovered cases so there are several stuff you can do with this particular cli so let's see how to build this entire cli from scratch using click using poetry and then pip pnv so that is something very basic you can also do something simple if i go with the info it's going to just give me a simple pick figlet of the entire stuff right something very simple something very basic something very simple right nice now let's see how to build it from scratch so i'll come back to this place here i'm going to create a virtual environment here so pip env i'll be using pip env for now you can go without pip env but let's use virtual environment and then poetry so pip env install poetry 
So that's the main package you'll be using, right? So PPNB install poetry. I'm going to install poetry for this particular build folder here. Then you start building everything. So it takes some time for you to do the installation of all of these things. So whilst it is doing that, let's see that installing poetry. I'll open that same location and then let's open it to sublime. Right? So go to sublime. Dot it's going to open that particular location for us. And then we'll do our plan. We're going to structure our app that we build it. So I've created a readme. So this is the readme of the entire stuff you'll be doing. Right? It's a very simple readme with the various details. So this is the description. These are the dependencies that you'll be using. For the pandas, you'll be using pandas on this particular version. 0.25, right? If you are using one, it will, it will break. So we are using this particular option. And then we'll be using this format to help us install. And these are the various commands. So this is going to be the basic usage. So the simple analysis of it is that let's put as our API. API, right? Although it's a CLI, but the API is just the structure of it. It's going with COVID, then CLI. Then you can just go with show to show something. So it can be show confirmed, recovered. Right, and, and the rest. Then you can also do something like COVID CLI. You can also do get. Then you can get the latest. You can also get the previous. You can also get something like the data set then finally can also get the status just as we saw in a demo right the next one we'll be doing is COVID CLI search to search a particular country so let's say country name then you specify the particular stuff let's say cases whatever case that you want to do so let's say case of confirmed something like that then finally just do something very simple so COVID say COVID <laughs> COVID CLI info. So this is the basic structure of our CLI. This is how our terminal is going to be. It's always advisable that when you are giving the commands, they are action words, right? They are verbs. So that it shows the user what he's going to do. Very interesting. So let's see how far we have come. So it has finished installing PPNV. Very interesting. It has finished installing poetry. Right. Perfect. So if I come back here, you can see that it was not able to do that one. Let's work on it in a different way. So since that's finished already installing, right? That's added to our pip file. I can activate that particular option. So let's go with pip env shell, right? To activate this particular location here. I want to create a virtual environment inside this particular location. Perfect. So that's finished doing that for us. Now I can just go with pip env. Then I'm going to install some other stuff. So I'll be using poetry. So run poetry as a shell to make sure that poetry has been added to this current location, right? In case you, are, you don't want to use a virtual environment and poetry, you can just go straight away with this option, right? So perfect, poetry has been installed perfectly in our virtual environment. Now we can use poetry to help us with our stuff. So I'll just go with poetry, right? Then I'll just create a new folder called COVID CLI. I'm going to create a new folder, a new project with the name COVID CLI inside our virtual environment. perfect has finished creating so if i go inside my covid cli that's why we have our stuff here so if i go with tree you can see the structure of it right we have our pi project the demo file so let's open this particular stuff so i go with sublime open that's our current location so this is it right very interesting so we have our pi project the demo file with python 3.6 and then these are the basic stuff so let's give this particular name, like let's say 0.4, right? It can be 0.3, it can be any name. Let's go with 0.4 to build a 0.4 version, right? Very interesting. And then if I come back here, I'll just change this one to 0.4, right? I've built several versions, but this one can be as you wish it to be. So I'll save this one and then I'll save this one here. So I can just put my description here. Then the next thing is that we will be creating a file. So I'll create a file inside my COVID CLI the actual project itself so i'll call it as covid cli dot pi right covid cli so this is where we're writing all our code right so we're using 
click and the rest to help us with that so i'll just come back to my directory here then since we already have the pi project we can add it can add it things we need so i just go with this option poetry you add in click you add click dash help colors then you also add pi figlet to help us with the animation then tablet so these are the main packages we'll be using later on we install pandas right because pandas 1.0 is not supported for python 2.7 and below right so we'll be using a particular python version so this is how to add packages to our pi project file. so all these packages are going to be populated inside our pi project file here so you see i just started adding them here right i'm going to add them here then we're going to create a poetry.log file which is going to be used to track all that we're doing very interesting so whilst it is installing whilst it's installing all the various stuff i'll just start writing some code so i'll come back to my location let's close this one off let's save this close this one off come back to what you have open right so this is what you have open so let's see how to work with this so first of all be working and as import click that's the next thing we're doing then also be important date time and then time to help us with our stuff so the basic stuff we'll be doing later on we'll be using pandas so let's work on it so let's create our main function which is going to be about the app right let's call this covid CLR something like that let's make it something simple then I'll go with pass then I'll use close it with if main something simple so click work with the creator so I'll just create my first creator click dot group I'll be grouping everything under this particular option then I'll create another decorator click dot version option it's going to be the particular version so 0.1.4 that is the version we are using then I'll just move on to the other one so let's going to be my prog name so copy CLR that's the name of the program something very simple something very basic so with this little code if you run it it's going to work perfectly so let's come back here that's finished installing them now we can also install pandas so add pandas this is the pandas version is 0 0.0.2.4 right we're using this particular pandas version so let's use this particular pandas version right this is the version we're using 0.25.3 that is the last version before 1.0 so we add that one to it so that it's going to work otherwise it will not work okay so that is all so whilst it's doing it so let's write some code so we have done something simple now let's create our function for the get it's going to be say get info let's call that get cases right pass then create another function to search so search cases by country that is the next one then also create another function for the rest which is going to be for our show so show cases confirm right oh previous oh let's see recovered that something simple the last one is going to be our info it's going to be our info about that so info about CLI so we have to bring make sure that we bring pass for all of them so I'll come back down here let's go with click dot echo you can just give something like this right you can just specify whatever you want to specify later so that is something very big so how do we group all of these commands under this right so to group it under this we're using our click our main dot command so the so we are grouping all of this info show search get under the main so that's why we are bringing it here so this main is what is being used here so if this was cli Right, this place will be CLI. 
and then our she bank here to also be still alive right but because you are using menu just go straight away with main so i'll put the same command here on top of this on top of this on top of this right something very basic so let's save it and let's see what you have done so far so by now it has finished adding pandas to it so now i can run what you have done so far so inside our directory i can just come back here and use python to run it so python 3 then i can run my COVID file right but i have to move into it so let's come back here so see it into COVID. and i can just go to python 3 COVID that does help going to work perfectly for us perfect so we have gotten our commands our search and our show so everything is working as expected right so let me position it beside it and then let's start breaking everything perfect so i've positioned everything well so if i go back to this everything is working we have gotten our commands right so let's see how to add some features to it so in our readme we added some stuff to it so let's work on it so in case we want to get our data set between that one and this option so i'll just go with def get latest this is going to be to get latest cases and i can just go with pass or let's go with click dot echo get latest cases right something like that then you can also go with click dot style you can add a time to it so let's echo so right then this is going to be a click dot style we are adding some style to it i'll call it access time so that you know the time the person got the information then I'll just give this one a background color. So let's give it a foreground color of blue. It can be any color that you want. Right, perfect. That's the first stuff. Then I'll just go with a pass. Then this is not the best format. Then I'll just do it like that. Dot format. Then I'll pass in my date time dot date time dot now. Right. Remember that we imported date time here. So be using that one so let's save it here so how do we group this latest command under this so to group it under that we just come back here and just do the same thing so at get dot group dot command rather so, and then we'll change this one here to group so the reason we are changing this is going to be a sub command under this right so just as we have click group here this is going to be the click group for this particular one and then is going to be a command under this a sub command under this right so let's specify that one by going with the latest so that to be specific to that so let's save it and let's run it again so come back here everything is working as expected so let's go back to the get that does help i'm going to see that it has been brought under so the latest command is there right if i don't bring this one if i take this one off it's going to bring the entire full function there which is not the best option so let's see that one so this is it so this is not the best so i cannot be running it like this get 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 latest that is too long right that is not user friendly so that's why we are bringing the latest here perfect so we have seen how to work with it now let's see how to work for the rest so this is for the latest so i'll work for the remaining previous copy this one here repeat it for the main so this is going to be for the previous it's going to be for the data set is for the status right so we have there so this is for the latest it's going to be for our previous how am i previous right <laughs> so get previous get previous cases So since it's previous i will not be showing the time right so this one will go off we will not be showing the time because it's previous cases but for this status this is going to be for our status so get case by status right by status right oh yeah and let's call that get status rather by country something like that so this is going to be showing 
cases, right? Oh, status of cases, something like that. So we have gotten one here, one for the previous, and let's work for the data set. So this is going to be for our data set. Data set, right? So let's call this one as fetch. Fetch test data sets. Data set of cases, right? Very interesting. So we have been able to get this one to work. This one to work. Now, if I come back and I run it again, it's going to add those particular functions there. Everything is working. If I go with that dash help, I don't know whether you can see it very well. You can see that all our commands are there. So get latest cases. Get this is supposed to be get data set. <laughs> get data set. Let's go as get or download data set. So that if I come back and I run it again, you can see it is here, right? So get get or download data set, get latest cases, get previous cases, get status by country. So everything is working as expected. Now you have seen how to work. Now let's see how to add the features or the functions to it. That is where pandas come inside. So I'll come back to the top of my file here. Then I'll import pandas, import pandas as pd. Then we'll be using the functions we used to our processing here right so i'll copy those functions and explain it so these are the functions so the functions are going to be our url so we have the three urls right confirmed recovered and then dead cases coming from this particular github website right which we did we have a whole tutorial on how to prepare that particular data set we created a function to prepare and melt it another function to merge it create three different data frames for that right very simple and very easy that is the basic idea now let's come back to our latest and see how to work on the latest so i'll come back here then let's create a simple click dot echo something like this something single something to add some beauty to it then i can just work on my df dot merge data and i pass in these particular three data frames right these ones there so let me copy this entire stuff the same thing come back to the here right perfect so we have quoting our data set now i can actually preview it right so i go with df.2 csv can save it as corona virus data set plus csv right that is in case you want to save it but you will not be doing that then the next one is that you'll be getting all our total cases so we've got total confirmed is going to be our df dot the particular column confirmed dot sum right you are going to sum everything up so let's preview it first so let's go with click dot echo i'll preview my data frame the, the last value then i also preview the sum dot echo the total right so let's save it and run it and see so come back to my terminal Come back to get latest. Hopefully, it doesn't have any errors. Working perfectly well. Perfect. So that now it has given us the time, and then this is the total number. Perfect. So you can see from here that we have gotten a row, right? All the rows are there. Very interesting. So this is, let me expand it this way. So you see that we have our recovered and our dead cases. Very interesting for the latest. So and you have gotten all the stuff here, right? So, so that is the same idea. We, we have aimed to see how to get the total confirmed cases, right? Now let's add the rest to, to that. So I'll come back to the same place here. And then I'll do the other one for the total confirmed, total recovered, TF, then I'll pass in a particular option, which is going to be my recovered. Now sum it up dot sum. Right, so I'll do the same thing for the next one. Total or for the recovered, but for the dead cases. It's going to be DF dead. Right. If you can see from here, from our we had this one as dead, right? So that's what you are picking. We are picking everything and summing it up. So dead dot sum. Very interesting. So we are done with that one and it's working perfectly as expected. So we'll be creating a statistics to help us with that right so i'll just 
come back down here take off this it starts dictionary which is going to be a simple dictionary a sim simple dictionary so let's go just confirmed confirmed cases and i'm passing my total confirmed right now i'll do the same thing for the rest so it's going to be recovered then i'll pass in the other one it's going to be recovered total recovered then the next one is going to be for dead cases it's going to be total total dead right something very interesting so we have our recovered cases and then all the cases that we want then i can bring this one out by going with click dot echo my stats dictionary so let's save it and let's run it and see what we have done so far if i come back here run it again get latest hopefully it doesn't give us any error so perfect right it has given us our result so i don't want to show this one so we'll be giving that one as a different function so i'll just take this one out we don't need that one again perfect so we have seen how to get our latest info right very simple so if i run it again everything is working now let's see how to work on the previous and then on the status right so to work on the previous i just come back to the same thing everything is working so i just use the previous url so we have a previous url where our data set is so that is what we'll be trying to use so i just copy the same thing that we did above here so i'll take from here right copy that one here and paste it here the same thing almost the same thing then I'll pass in, let's call this one as previous data frame. You will not be merging it, but you're picking it from the URL. Right, so it's going to be my pd.read underscore csv. Then I'll go with my previous cases URL. Right, perfect. That is something very basic. So we don't need this one again. Now I'll just have to change this one up. And this one, and then this one to as prep very interesting that is all that we need for the other case so we have been able to get that one for the previous a simple way right so we have fixed two issues for the latest for the previous perfect now let's see how to work on the status right but let's see how to work on the data set data set is going to be very simple so I'll just copying the same thing and then saving it for the for the data set so i just do the same thing that we did here copy this entire stuff i'll copy this here right that is for the data set i'll come back here give it click dot echo then pass this one here right so it's going to save that particular data set but for me to get it i have to give it a particular name so let's call this one as current data frame right so how do i save it so that it doesn't conflict so i'll be using the time option so i'll create a file name which i'll be using this particular option so corona virus data set with a timestamp dot csv dot format then i have to pass in my time string so i'll come back to the top of my file and create a time string right because they have already imported time so it's going to be my time string and i'll pass in the particular code so let me paste it so i'll paste it here perfect so this is going to be using a timestamp to help us with our naming of our file right very interesting so i'll just change this one from this to my file name then i'll give it index score to false perfect that is something very simple I can just move on to click.echo let's use circle then we tell the user that finished save downloading data set right as finished downloading data set and then and saved saved as a particular file but format the file name so the person will know that particular file name so let's give it a foreground color of white 
in the background color of blue. See what I did? PG blue, right? Something very simple. Okay, so we are done with it. So if I come back here and let's run it. So instead of get, let's go get data set. Hopefully it doesn't give us any error. Going to give it to us in a very nice format. So perfect. So that is a file. So it's better if at least we let the user know the kind of data set that he or she is showing, is getting right. So I can just come back to the same place and go with my current data frame dot tail. Let's give PD width for the person. So click. Did you see the mistake I've made? That echo. It's just showing the last 20. So this must be current, not current. <laughs> wow, we'd have shipped a bad code. Right, perfect. So let's run it again. So at least to preview the particular data set for us. Perfect, right? Everything is working as expected. So we come back here. Let's run it again. Hopefully, so that all the keys are the confirmed, recovered, dead. It has saved in this particular file format. Very nice and very simple. Okay. So to fix it, to fix that particular format here, we can use a different format. But let's work on this in this option. So you have seen how to work on the data set. Let's see how to work on the guest status and speed up everything, right? Because I see it looks like we are taking a lot of time. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be the same thing I'll copy this latest here right and then these ones for the status right so let's copy everything and we'll do some modification so I'll come back to this particular file here for the status the status is searching by the country right so I'll come back to the top of my file so click dot argument then argument is going to be the country name right now passing that country name here. Perfect, right? So that is the particular country name that the person be going. So let's give it an example. It's going to be example dot COVID CLI get status. Then I'll specify the country. So let's say Ghana, right? Something very simple, right? Then from here I'll specify the particular country that is being passed. I'll do a search on it, right? So let's tell the user what is being searched for. Copy here, then change this one from access time to country, so that at least he knows the country that he's searching for. Now change this entire stuff here to country name. Perfect, right? Everything is working as expected. Now let's make this one as a new data frame. Let's take up this. We are no more saving it. Then we're we'll searching for the country. So let's search for that particular country you are getting by getting the census. So let's go to single country df. Then I'll just go with my new data frame. Then I'll use a normal pandas function or, or format of filtering and stuff. So I'll be filtering country slash region so this country slash region is coming from here if you check what we did previously we had country region right so that's what you are trying to filter so you are picking a particular country from these ones and working on them so i'll come back to what we are doing here right country region is equal to country name that is all that we need then i'll change these ones and sum it up so let's go to my single country df. So let's try it out and see. So run it again. Get status. Let's use Italy. Hopefully it's able to work perfectly well. Perfect. So we have gotten for Italy, right? With the beautification and written. So we are we are done with our app. And let's move on to the other ones so you have seen how to work with the getting previous getting status 
getting latest. Now let's work on the search and the show. So the show is going to be very simple. So let's work on the show first and then the search right later on. So for the show, it's going to be like this. I'm going to give it a particular argument again. So let's call it as at click dot argument. The argument is going to be cases, right? Then I'll specify the type of cases, type to click dot choice, which is going to be confirmed, recovered. And it can be yeah recovered depth as many as you wish right these are the main ones then i can just go with the last one which is going to be all perfect right that is for the cases then i'll pass in my cases argument here nice that is something simple right now from here i can just use this option let's make it like this Click to circle showing cases for that particular stuff to its format. I pass in my cases here. So the particular case you says so showing confirmed cases, showing recovered cases, showing all cases. Very simple. Then I'll just give you the simple condition. So if cases is equal to confirmed. Then pick that particular confirmed cases only, right? That's the basic idea. So the show is going to show only confirmed cases or show the other cases, right? That is the basic idea. So we can just print it out. So click dot echo. Then I'll pass in my particular data frame that I'm using. So we realize that we're having some data frames here. We have our confirmed data frame here. So I'll just go to this confirmed data frame. Right, then I'll pick only the confirmed class. Now let's add them together. Right, so let's run it and see. I'll come back to this. So show cases. I say show confirmed. So if I run it, it's going to only show that particular result. Hopefully, it doesn't give us a Perfect. So we have given us our result. So let's beautify that one. So we can beautify it and add some BD stuff to it, right? To add some colors to it. So that's what we're doing. So we're doing the same thing for the recovery, for the date, and for the all. So I'll copy and paste it to save us time. So I've pasted it here in a very simple way. So if I come back now, I can check the other one. So if I go with confirmed, it's going to print it out perfectly for us in a very nice format because I added some beautification to it here, right? Very nice. So we can see the particular details. That is the basic idea. So we are finished with the confirm. We are finished with the recovered. Now let's work on the search, right? That's the last one. Then we start building our app because we are taking a lot of time. Okay, in case you have not subscribed to this channel, you can also subscribe and check the link below for some interesting materials to help you when building machine learning apps and then building CLIs. So we are done with our show. Now let's work on the search. So the search is going to be something similar to the status option. So it's going to be very simple, right? So let's see how it's going to be. So this is going to be our example. Right, example, then I'll just go with COVID CLI, then search, I specify the particular country or particular stuff the person wants to search. So it's going to be our country. Right. Then I can also give cases which can be let's say confirmed cases so from here i have to make sure that i create this argument and create this option so i come back here and create this argument which is going to be our country country name right the next one is going to be for the option because it's optional see right perfect i can also give it a type as above so type click dot choice 
and I specify the choice there, just as we did here. The particular choice I want to be. So what I want it to be, all these things here. So let's copy this here. So I can change this one from previous. Latest, we are changing that one and let's set the default for that one as default as latest. Right, perfect. Everything is working now. Since everything is working, what we are going to do is that we'll be passing this our cases here, our country name function, and our cases. Then we tell the user what the user is doing, right. So let's tell the user what he's doing using this option. So you can use something like this. You can use these ones. Let's copy this. And I'll modify them. So I can I'll modify this one here to something better, right? Something like this. So this we'll have to take this one out for now. So that is something very basic. Now let's work on the search option. So I'm going to be creating a data frame. So let's call this one as country data frame. So you can use the same thing that we did above here. The same thing for this one, right? You can use the same thing because we are searching by country. So I can just copy this stuff here. This ones. And then use it for our search. The search is going to show everything. So I'll change this one from name to country. Right, or I can just make it like the normal DS. And this one will become country. Anyhow you want it to be. Perfect, right? So we are searching for that particular country name. Very simple. So that's the basic idea. Now we have to be using an if condition. So if our cases is equal to like we did confirmed. This time you are not picking the entire stuff, you're only picking only the confirmed cases, right? And giving it out. So total confirmed is going to be our country DS. And I'll just get only that particular option. So this is going to limit it to only that particular country. So this is going to be our confirmed. Then I'll sum it up. some see what I've done that is all right then I can bring this one out by click dot echo this particular total confirmed cases so let's check it out and see whether it is working so if I go with search Italy would you search for that particular country and give it out give us the result perfect right it's couldn't find Italy because there is a mistake somewhere. Country name. Yeah, we do not specify the confirm. So this option. Cases confirm. So we have to give a default option, right? Otherwise, to be giving us an empty result. But this is our result. Very interesting. So we'll be using the same thing for the remaining aspect. So I'll copy it. And paste it to make it easier for us, right? So, in case I want to auto show it, I can also show it in a simple way. So, let's copy it and paste it, and I'll explain. So, I've copied it and pasted it. So, we are doing the same thing for the confirmed. Then, we are going to bring it out in a very nice format for the recovered. The same thing with the timestamp. The same thing for the date. The same thing for the previous. The same thing for the latest. And then one for the else. So, if I come back here to my terminal, let's run it again. That's going to give us a mistake. We are going to correct that one. Perfect. So I've corrected the mistakes. Now, if I come back to my terminal and I run it again, it's going to give us a perfect answer, right? So everything is working as expected. So we are done with most of the app. We are done with all of them. If I go without any cases, it's going to use the default option for of the latest for us.
perfect right so everything is working as expected so let's see the last option so the last option is going to be our info so the info is very simple with pyfiglet which is not very important so I can just wait then I use pyfiglet for that so it's going to be figlet but before I work with figlet I have to import it right so I have to come back to the top of my file and then import it here so I just import it from pyfiglet import Figlet, right? And this is something very busy. So I'll be using PyFigLet for that. So this option. Then this can take a font of either slant or standard, right? If I go with slant, it's going to give us any slant format. Then I'll just go with click dot echo and I'll specify the particular stuff there. So it's going to be f dot render test by passing the test I want to pass there which is going to be our COVID CLI right so if I save it and I come back to the info my terminal let's run it info perfect 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 it's going to give us the perfect right so this is slant format very interesting so we can add some basic stuff to it so let's add them and then continue in the next aspect of building the app itself so you can see from our app here that if i go back to help here right the help is working but we want to add some beautification to the help right so that's what to be that's why we're using our click help colors right this is just plain like that let's reduce it giving us some plain help information but we want to add some beautification to it so let's see how to do that so this is very plain so now i want to add colors to this one so i come back to this place to my app itself then at the top of my file i'll just go with click help colors so it's going to be from here from click help colors and i put some classes so it's going to be my help colors group right it's going to be my help colors group then another one put in my help colors command so these are the two main classes we're using help colors group and help colors command perfect then i'll come back to my group here and I'll create a class which is going to take my input right what i've imported so i'm going to take my help colors group then i'm going to take another option of help header headers color I specify that one as yellow right so yellow and the next one is going to be my help options color which is going to be let's say cyan right so if I save this one now and I come back the same place I run it I'm going to change the entire stuff for us there's no more going to be the plain white going to be this colored one which is very nice right so this is quite nice and quite beautiful so you have seen how to build a simple cli from scratch so all that we did was that to recap all that we did was we imported click daytime pandas pi these packages and then we created a default url for we'll be getting our de details from github then we created two main functions to structure our data set three data frames then we build our cli using click right we build our main function our sub command get latest get previous get status get data set all of them using pandas behind the scene then we did the same thing for the search and then for the show and then finally for the info right something very busy now let's see how to build an app before we build an app we have to add some stuff to it so i come back to my pi project tomorrow file inside my test file i have to check the test so this is 0 0.14 inside my covid here it's also 0 Let's go back to here, right? The version that you are testing here is 0 0.14, right? So I have to make sure that it's working perfectly as expected. So let's test it out. So I'll come back to the same place I have, this place, right? And I want to test my app, right? So this is where the app is. So I'll just come out from here. Let's test it out. So to test it, just going to go with pip env and make it bigger. Run by using Python. Any PyTest, right? So PyTest, run PyTest. We're going to use PyTest to test our app for us. 
going to identify this particular folder and then test it for us, right? Apologies for the noise behind. Making sure that everything is working. You can write more tests, but this is just to show you something. So it's given us an error here. So it failed somewhere because it's inside our set is supposed to be 0 0.4, right? So let's check that one out. So I'll come back to my test file 0 0.14 inside my version. This is supposed to be 4. Perfect, right? So if I come back and I run it again, let's this time let's run it with verbos v. That's going to test it perfectly for us and give us the right information. So thank you for watching this long tutorial. I appreciated that because it's too much. <laughs> See, I made a mistake. That's V. So it's going to uh, run it perfectly for us. Perfect. So our test has passed, right? So now we can deploy them. But before we deploy them, let's make some corrections for our Pi project automobile file. So I'll be adding some BD stuff documentation for this i'm going to be adding some stuff here for the description and then some basic stuff to enable us to run it all so i'll copy it and paste it there to save us time so i'll come back here now do some changes for these ones right this is my information here you place your own information there not my information right <laughs> okay perfect so that's something very basic i've added so i've added some stuff here right now to allow it since this is a cli to allow it to work as a cli i'll just come back here and add this particular code right because it's a cli so this is going to be my two dot poetry dot script right otherwise it will not be able to run right dot script so from here i'll just move on to the option of my cli what i'll be using so inside my cli i was running it as this option apologies apologies i was running it as this no no where is it where is it i was running it as COVID, right i don't want to be using COVID dot I want to use only this particular name inside my terminal, right? For the user. So in that case, it's going to be here. So I'll come back to this place. There is COVID CLI, right? That is the first stuff. It's equal to my COVID CLI folder. That is a folder. Then the COVID CLI file. And if I go to that file, I'll just go to my main. So this COVID CLI is referring to this particular file here. Right, the file that our code is on, then the main is referring to this main function here, right? This main, which is what we have grouped everything under this particular main, right? So that is what we are putting here, right? Very simple and very easy, interesting. So this must be inside a bracket. So COVID CLI folder, COVID CLI file, then the main function, very interesting. So that is something very basic. So let's check it out before we run it. I come back to inside my location here pip e and v run if you are not using a virtual environment you don't need a pip e and they run right so poetry then check if i go with check it's going to check for that particular poetry file pi project automobile file if there is mistakes it's going to tell me if there are no mistakes it's going to tell me right so check in perfectly for us all set right let's intentionally make a mistake so i'm going to make a mistake here i'm going to actually omit something let's take off this let's see that is the advantage of this option so to be able to identify that particular mistake and tell me where the mistake was perfect see that now it's telling me a, a mistake at line 10 right so i have to correct it so i just come back to this place in line 10 which is this location and then correct it out so the pi check the poetry does check allows us to be able to check problems with our pi project automobile file which is a very very important file to track our build that is something very simple so you have seen how to test it you have seen how to check it now let's see how to build it so to build it just go with this build if i go with build it's going to build it for us but before we build let's make sure that our folder is perfect so i'm going to clean all of these things right we don't need it i clean them off so we are only want this one so that we don't have a lot of mistakes there so we have our line sense file we have our manifest or thermal file so let's check them out here so we have our license file here, right? With our license, we have our manifest with a readme, we have our readme. So let's create a readme. We forgot the readme, so I'll add the readme. So the readme, we will be adding it. So I'll paste in a readme, right? So there's a readme that you'll be using, referring to this particular readme here, right? With every instruction on it, very, very simple. So let's call it as this. So very simple. 
then let's call that let's see python 3 right in a post something like that right so this is python version that we used to build right we are just telling the user that we use this particular python version to build so let's call this build with something like that right python version right so it's not important but you are just adding it <laughs> so that we don't have issues okay so in case i want to build it everything is working i can just come back to this portrait.build it's going to use view and then as this to build a distribution folder for us from that current directory so that has built it perfectly for us right so now i can actually deploy this one to pypy so in case you don't have an account on pypy just create an account on pypy just go to pypy.org first you need test pypy right you have to go to test pypy also it's going to be test pypy which will be test pypy yeah, everybody listen to tom like this <laughs> okay so this test pypy so you first test it here first if it's working then you move it to pypy right but let's move on straight away to it so in case you don't have an account you just have to create an account here and then run it right so i already have an account so we have built it perfectly 0.14 in case i want to deploy there i just go back to this publish so if i go to publish it's going to ask for my username and then my password then automatically push it there right but i've already pushed it there so this was just an introduction or something to help you know how to build it it's going to ask for your username and everything so that is the basic idea about how to build a cli from scratch right using poetry ppnv python and then click very interesting so the basic step we did was that we created a simple file right with all of this information there just to do some interesting stuff so thank you for watching this entire tutorial so in case you want to support this project you can also help check it out so if i come back to my pi project because i've already installed it if i go with covid cli i'll be able to get it and then i can install it on my system and then run it perfectly so this is a version 0.1 what we did was 0.14 right so if you're watching from the future you'll be getting this particular version so that is something very simple so i can see that everything is working after i've pushed it perfectly so i can just copy this one here and install them with all the various ways to use it so thank you for watching this tutorial and thank you for your time in case you have any question or contribution can just put it in the comment section below and stay tuned for more and check the link below for some interesting materials some interesting courses to help you master machine learning and then python thank you very much stay blessed bye